All right, all right, all right. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jacob McDonald. Welcome to the channel. Um, if you're here for the first time, I'd be absolutely flabbergasted. If you're here for the last time, like the video on your way out. But thirdly, and most importantly, can we at least give just a little bit of appreciation for my new t-shirt? It came all the way from UK. Um, had to pay £25 postage. Wasn't cheap, but it was worth it. And thankfully I got two. And thankfully I got it in the, the biggest size possible, 3XL, which is still, you know, I wouldn't call it oversized. I call it a nice fit. What I'm wondering is what size does Tyson Fury wear? Because if I'm a 3XL and I'm six foot one, he's six foot nine and about a hundred pounds more than me. Well, that's not true. He's probably about 60 pounds more, but he's certainly nine inches taller. And with that in mind, I'm thinking the big man himself the Gypsy King, would probably sport an 8XL. Anyways, guys, I'm, ab I'm absolutely stoked. I'm not going to lie. And still, baby. And still. Um, one of my favorite sporting personalities in the entire world. One of my favorite sporting heroes in the world. Um, the Gypsy King. The lineal WBO heavyweight champion of the world. The man who defeated Vladimir Klitschko when no one else could. The man who knocked Deontay Wilder out twice. Um, the man who I absolutely love. But another guy I love, and I wouldn't say he's at that level of Tyson Fury, but he is he's there or thereabouts. Um, he was a chief. He's now a saint. His name's Tyron Matthew. And uh, he comes in at number 70 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players of 2022. I'm about to give you my reaction to the Honey Badger, and uh, you guys are about to watch. And hit me up in the comment section below with two things, either your thoughts on the Honey Badger this past year, or your thoughts on this very t-shirt. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna say right here, right now, uh, I better get some nappy sand, because I don't wanna get any stains on this. It's a bit dodgy when you get a white t-shirt, right, that you really wanna keep pristine. Like I said, I've got two. I've got one still with the tag on, that I'm hoping one day, one fateful day, I can actually get Tyson Fury in front of me to sign it. That's the plan. I want to put it in a frame. That's why I got two. But that's got nothing to do with the NFL. Let's get into it, guys. You know, if you can be nominated or considered, you know, one of the best of the best, um, that's always a good feeling. And you got to, you know, realize, you know, it's an offensive league now, right? Like, and it's a lot of great guys out there. And it's probably a hundred offensive guys that could probably make the list. So anytime a defensive guy makes a list, you know, it's always like a, that's a big deal for us. Look, I, I will say, I've got to be honest, there's, there's been more defensive players than offensive players in the 30 videos we've seen thus far. So I'm not sure if he's, he's a little bit off there, but. Well, I'll be honest, it is an offensive league, and, and I've come into the league as an offensive fan. And so, you know, to give the guys on the defensive side of the ball their time of day in this list, it does mean a lot, and I fucking love it, so let's get into it. Bracing. He deserves it. He plays like an absolute beast. Thank you, God. He ain't just going to tackle you, he's going to let you know about it. Thank you, God. Grateful. Grateful, grateful, love. He plays just with his hair on fire 24-7 with so much tenacity. Believe in yourself! Believe in your teammates! Believe in the standard we set! He's active in the pass game, active in the run game. Oh. Tell you what, guys. I felt that from here. You know, he's going to fly in on tackles. That's an outstanding job. Open field tackle by Tyron Matthew. Well, I don't know if I'd call that a tackle, but he got him down. He's a turnover waiting to happen. The ball is out and picked up by Tyron Matthew. I would just describe him as, you know, annoying. You know, and as a defender, that's kind of what you're trying to be. Like, you don't want to give them room to breathe. 
And he's that guy. He's always right there, and he's not afraid to deliver a hit, too. Watch this body check. Oh, yes, absolutely. I'll be doing that, too. Show him the bicep. Wow. Open field tackle. Is it a tackle? Is it a shoulder charge? Is it just a push? Is it just two absolute beasts coming up against one another? One with the ball in hand, one not. I don't know. I'll leave that to you guys. But at the end of the day, he's undersized, but he doesn't play like it. Flies around, you know, he undersized, but his heart is... Oh, is that right? <laughs> did you, hang on, did you just hear that? It's through the roof, so I think that makes up for the, the size difference. Um, you know, he'll get in there and, and bang with the best of them. You know, if it's a lineman, running back, you know, tight end, doesn't really matter. He's a heck of a player. I don't know why, guys. Have you noticed this? But they've shown him tackle... Darren Waller um, about four or five different times on this video thus far and I'm assuming it's because of the height discrepancy I mean Darren Waller is what six foot six um, Tyron Matthew is about five foot nine is that why look a sack on Aaron Rodgers is just as good as a, a tackle on Darren Waller I'm not I don't know why they've targeted the, the, the Raiders tight end so so much here but down he goes the honey badger came screaming in his presence, I think, you know, is something that, that wasn't Aaron Rodgers. That's very unique, very special. So much respect for Tyra. Oh, Jarvis Landry with a fresh presence, fade. I think, you know, is oh, tell you what, mate. Tell you what. Um, looking good, looking fresh, looking all lined up. And I will say that's it. That I, I like that look. I like that look. It's 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 simple. It's classic. Bless him. Something that's very unique, very special. So much respect for Tyron. I just try to do my job, man. You know, if I if I make the play, I make it. You know, um, if I can help my teammate make it, that's even better. Another big play by Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger. I'm the best in the world, the whole world. He's a special football player. I remember watching him when he was at LSU. But above anything else, his instincts in football have. Um, are what stand out to me the most. Being where he needs to be, uh, he just got a knack for it. And there's something to be said about guys like that. The pass is gonna be intercepted! 32 is so smart, he's seen him over. Bro, he just darted over to you. I seen it. Classic case. Bro. Look, I don't know if he's so smart. It looks as if Lamar Jackson, I mean, hoped and threw rather than aimed and fired. Um, but at the end of the day, as a free safety, uh, you got to have the speed, you got to have the nous, you got to get there, you got to get to the ball, and and he did. But I'm not going to say that that was a really, really, really smart play. Um, it's probably just a, a bad option by the offense, to be fair. Matthew understanding what the offense is going to do. He's a very smart player. And I think that's what you know separates him from a lot of the other safeties. Oh, you think he's smart, do you? Well, there's only one way to find out let's have a look at his stats tyran divine matthew born uh, may 13th 1992 five foot nine 190 pounds went to lsu drafted in the third round of the 2013 draft with pick number 69 went to the cardinals then the texans then the chiefs which is the team that i'm sort of you know um most familiar with and then went to the saints uh last year Super Bowl champion, of course, with the the Chiefs. Three-time Pro Bowler, 15, 20, and 21. But just how smart is he? Well, we don't find out. But he, he does run a 450 40-yard dash. He runs a 261 20-yard split. That's not bad at all. He runs a 450 40-yard dash. Uh, does a three-cone drill in 6.87 seconds, which is pretty rapid a 34 inch vertical jump nine foot nine on the board four reps on the bench i remember that i do remember that we don't have a, a wonderlick score but he is a smart player i mean he, he, he's got smarts on the field i'm not sure if he had smarts in the classroom but at the end of the day his last season at lsu was in 2011 it's been 10 years he's probably forgot every single ounce of um trigonometry uh, algebra and calculus he ever learnt. um and so have I. So, 
no disrespect there. But on, on, on May 4th, 2022, a short three months ago, he signed a three-year, $33 million contract with his hometown team, the New Orleans Saints. Been in the league for nine years, 129 total career games, 610 combined tackles, 524 of which were solo. 10 sacks, 76 passes deflected, 26 interceptions for a total of 335 return yards, three of which went for a touchdown, four forced fumbles, six fumble recoveries, and the list goes on and on and on. All right, how smart was he? He accepted an athletic scholarship to attend LSU where he, he played for coach Les Mills. <laughs> or Les Miles, um, LSU Tigers football coach from 2010 to 11. Well, well, look at this. August 10th, 2012, LSU head coach Les Miles announced that Matthew would be dismissed from the football team due to a violation of team rules. News outlets reported that the dismissal was a result of repeated drug test failures, although Miles did not confirm those reports. And it's a good thing he didn't. He had formally expressed an interest in returning to the program for the 2013 season, but he withdrew from LSU on August 17th, 2012, and entered a drug rehabilitation program in Houston, Texas. His withdrawal was expected to last for the entire 2012-2013 academic year. However, on September 4th, 2012, he ended his withdrawal and enrolled for full semester classes. On October 25th, about six weeks later, he and three other LSU former players were arrested on possession of marijuana. Nick Minnett. On November 29th, 2012, it was announced that he would enter the NFL draft, which he did do, and he later uh, got signed to the Cardinals. Okay, it was pretty tumultuous. Tumultuous? Tumultuous? Look, the word means bumpy. It was a bumpy road throughout college. But he got there, he's been there for eight years, and he just signed a new deal. So with that, we go back to the video and give him the utmost respect. In 2020, he could have been a statistic. He was a statistic until he got in the league. One, the Honey Badger accounted for six turnovers. Tyron Matthew, boy is he active. How about a 34 yard pick? Six, he's into the end zone. This year, he's taking his playmaking instincts to the big easy. This is gonna be interesting to have him in town. He has proven himself time and time again. He's just one of those pure ballers. Every team he's been on has just risen. Look, Cameron, you do your job up front. Tyron Matthews is going to clean up the scraps out back. To the top. You know, now that he's here, man, you know, it's on like Donkey Kong. And, hey, dude, cool. yeah. Best. yo, what's up? And believe one. it or not, hey, speaking of Cameron Jordan, here he is. Here he is, coming in at number 69. 69 on the list. Defensive end for the Saints. All right, guys. Two Saints players in a row. Uh, any fans out there of the Saints, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, the previous video and hopefully you'll enjoy this one even more. The man with the biggest neck in the NFL. Let's find out what he's been about in this last 12 months. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.